M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's talk scanners. So this is a, a budget scanner that many, many people get. It's called the Unidem 125, and it covers a very wide range of frequencies from 25 megs to 960 megs. So you can imagine all the different services that it can receive. It can receive CB, 10 meter band, marine, military, aircraft, shop watch, and so on and so on and so on. You get the idea. And then you've got a thing like the like the Bofung. Now, we, you know, I like to use my Bofung for ham radio, okay? Because I'm a ham radio operator. And you can see there, I've got channels that are programmed into the memory. If I turn up the volume, go up and down the memory. Five, six, you can see five, GB3, WE, four, WR, three, and, and so four, on. Five, and different six, links, eight, nine, gateways. One, so that's like one. ham radio. So how can we make, how can we use our... Unidem 125 like a ham radio because as soon as we turn it on and push scan It just starts to scan everything and it's scanning the bands that have been pro pre-programmed into all these buttons So scan 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 these are you, you may not have seen this before but these are banks of channels uh, You can just press the hold button here press the hold like so and you can flick through with your channel knob at the top here Let's just go back so you can see the top there you go, which you can push down for volume. There's volume. Squelch, you go F. Then press the volume, you get squelch. You go F, volume, squelch. Okay, but normally you push down volume. Right, anyway, so we can flick through when we do hold, or if we unhold, it just scans, okay? If we press hold and we can go F, hit the word search here, search. It starts to search what they call services. And we just talked about services. Military band, air band, amateur radio, PMR, you get what services are, okay? And this is how scanners work. They're, you know, they're bands and, and services and groups, and it's a bit confusing compared to your, your normal ham radio. So how can we, this video is about, how can we just use our scanner as a, as a ham radio with favorite memory channels? Well, I'm gonna show you. So the first thing I'll do is press the hold button here. Then we're gonna hit scan, okay? Scan, we're gonna press hold. Now if I flick back to channel one, I'm gonna start showing you the channels that I've programmed, which are the same as what I had on my Bofung. So you look here, channel one is Hubnet, it's my local node. Turn up the volume, it might, we might get some activity. Now it's a BNC antenna you get on these devices, and there is, you can very easily connect this to some software with this thing, you know, with this connection here on the side. Let me just get it out for you. You look here, pull it down. See that micro USB? And I will show you what the software looks like when it's connected. There you are, it looks like this, it's quite complicated, but this is what it looks like and you get the screen. And if I hit the scan, it you'll see the screen start to change. See that? It's pretty good, eh? And you can change the volume and everything like that. And it uses your COM port. And everything that, that happens on the device is happening on the PC. But anyway, we're talking about turning this, making this almost like a ham radio where you just flick through memory channels. But just so you know, that software was called Nick Bailey 125. Look it up, Scan 125. It's very, very good. Anyway, if we flick back here. Now, look here, we're on all these different banks. Now, I, each bank, I think, holds... 50 channels, pretty sure it's 50 channels. There's 10 banks, 50 channels, 500 memory channels. So if we flip now to, if we press hold, hold is a really important thing. If you press hold, that's when you can type in your frequency and enter it. But anyway, let's go hold and turn it back to channel number one. And these are ones I've just programmed just now, and I'm gonna show you how to do these. So look, one is Hubnet, two, GB3FI, three, GB3WR. Four, five, and, and then these are other channels that someone else programmed. And you can clear that, that bank. So that's pretty good. I'll just quickly show you how to change banks. You, when you're in this section, you press F, then you turn the knob. See the banks changing? One, two, three, four. So it's very important that you're in the bank. When you're adding memory channels, you are in the, bank, in the correct bank. So let's just go, so you, just to rehash that. We'll go scan. It's now scanning all these different banks. We'll press hold, then we'll press F. When you, when you press hold, you see the frequencies and the, and the tags, they call it, the names. Press function, 
The F shows up on the screen and look, choose the bank you want to change or even delete. You can actually delete a whole bank. Okay, I'll show you how to delete a bank. Now watch, go like that. We'll go to number two, bank number two. Push F, number two, hold is already there. We'll press enter, F, enter, F, enter. Go all the way to the bottom and watch this. Clear bank, enter, yes. We've just got rid of bank two. So if we go back to the banks by pressing scan, then hold, bank two, press the F, go to bank two, look, nothing there, it's been cleared. But we're gonna add our memory channels to bank one. How do we do it? So the first thing we make sure we've done is we've got hold highlighted here. Turn up the volume, might get some activity. Hold is highlighted. We can now type a frequency. So we go, let's do one I haven't got. So one, four, five, dot, uh, seven, one, two, five, oh. I haven't got that one. And then we press hold. As soon as you press hold, it's almost like pressing enter, but you haven't quite got it yet. The next thing you've got to do is press enter to start naming and tagging it and deciding where it's gonna go. So we go enter. And we're going to decide that we're in bank two at the moment. Now, I don't want it to go in bank two, so we're going to go F. No, it's not going to let me. There you are. We just we just turn back to bank one. That's easier, isn't it? We didn't have to press the F. Turn to bank one. Then we're going to go. It's on channel fifty. So we don't want it to go on channel fifty. So press enter. We're going to go down to. We could change the frequency, or we could enter tag. We're going to go enter. And we can start typing the name. So if there's already something there, just press the dot and that will clear it. But otherwise, to go to the right, you press six. To go to the left, you press four. So we're gonna go G to the right, B. Then we've got numbers, three. Let's just call it AA. I'm not really sure what that one is actually, AA. It's just quicker, A, A. Once we've done that, we can press enter. Now there are more selections, CT, CSS, but we don't really need it. We're not transmitting, we can set it as a priority, but we don't really need to do that. We can delete it if we want, we can clear the whole bank. But once we've done that, go down to exit, press enter. Okay, and that's entered it out complete, that's entered a memory channel. If we go back to scan, if we want to just look, we're on bank one at the moment. We press hold whilst we're on bank one. Go down to those early channels that we created and they're the ones that we're creating. So if we want to add another channel to bank one, make sure it's on hold, bank one. We're just gonna go enter, F, sorry, F, then enter. I keep forgetting the F. Enter the tag. Then we can delete that name because that's an existing one. Delete the name, give it a name. Let's just call this one B for now. You get the idea. Exit. And now when we're looking at the channels, we've got one called B. We go back to the previous channels I've stored. So you're basically adding one channel at a time. So when you scan, hit the scan here. When you're on bank one, as you can see it is, it's going to scan, someone's talking, it's going to scan bank one. If you want it to just keep scanning all of them, just turn the squelch up. As soon as it, that person stops speaking, we'll do the squelch F, push down, squelch, yeah, the squelch is low, F again, and wait for him to stop speaking. It will keep scanning. And it's scanning, scanning all the way through all these banks. Press hold, you can choose, when you press hold then F, then you can turn the volume knob and you can go to the bank that you wanna change and adjust. So I hope that sort of helps you realize how that works. The other thing you can turn on when you're using this is a thing called close call, you go F. This is the close call button here. You go to close call menu, so let's do that again. Hold, F. Close call, close call mode, press down, you can be off. 
You can be do not disturb, which means that you, if you're listening to something and the channel in front of you is active, it won't let the close call, or the strong station that's near you. It could be someone walking past your house or driving past or an aeroplane flying over or a train going by, bus going by. It's not going to come through if you are active and listening to something which is busy. If you select priority, it will come through. If you select only, then you're only going to hear the strong state signals that are in your house. So if I did that now, for example, that's close call only. If it's picking up my node, which is in this room, so I can press that. But I can also, if I key my microphone as well on a certain frequency that's near this, one, two, three, four, M0 FXB, it's gonna come through. You get the idea, that's what close call is. And to turn it off, you just go F, close call, close call mode, turn up, go off, and then back to scan. See, it's scanning. Or you can do what they call a service search. You go F, search, and it starts to search services. So services are, you know, marine band, CB band, aviation band, amateur band. They call that a service. That's the term they use in, in, a, in the scanner world. And the scanner world is different to ham radio. You must remember that. So anyway, once, that's one thing. And then also to turn the lights on and off, watch. Push the on off button, that's the on off button there. Off, and it does charge when it's off, and it has got rechargeable batteries, and you can power it without any batteries in, just from the USB cable that doubles up as a, as a programming cable, which is here. Pretty good, nice strap there. It's a very nice, for what you pay, I think it's a very nice quality unit myself. That's my personal opinion on the unit. So let's turn it back on. Back on, best thing I, I recommend you do, you turn it on, push hold, then you're in control. So you push hold, we've done the service search, and let's say you, you've got on a frequency, you don't wanna to listen to it, just press lock out, look at that, temporary lock out, it locks it out. So if you've got something really strong that you just don't wanna to listen to, fine, lock it out, no problem. You've done the light, you've also got a light menu, press F, then the on off button briefly, and you can adjust the backlight, different, Options there, key press, squelch, contrast. I do the contrast quite high. I do like it high, exit. Okay, uh, we've also got F step. It's your frequency step, so again, F step. It's not letting me do it in that mode. So let's go back to scan, hold, then we'll go F step. It's not, for some reason it's not letting me select step. Why is not? Let's try it in a different mode. Is it because someone's talking? Go to scan. Hold. F. Step. I don't understand why it's not letting me do that. Let's try it in search. Let's try it in search. Hold. F. Step. There you are. It's letting me. It's let me now. Okay. You can change the step. So it likes it in search mode. Carry on searching as it is. You can press F and decide which which bank you're gonna search as well. You do have to hold uh, first uh, and you go yeah. F, search the banks. So I think that's about it. There's always more to learn. You can shortcuts for priority. You can turn the beep on and off, F, beep. And it starts to beep now. See that, you got all your beeps. But if you ever get lost, very simple. Just hit scan or search and hold and you're gonna you're gonna have control again and when you're in hold mode you can always type in a frequency press always press hold it's not enter like it would be on a ham radio so thanks for watching my channel hope this helps turning or trying to use your uniden 125 as if it was a ham radio or something like a bofun bye for now 73 all the best